if you, if you take framing, if your joints fit, it's stronger. Right. I mean, you know, you say, here again, it, what, uh, master builder, it takes a little know-how. Uh, you know, if you had your rafters upside down and you had the seat cut on the top at the ridge and you're, you know, mm -hmm. one cut on, it's not going to fit, it's, it's not going to hold, it's going to mm -hmm. be loose, it's going to fall down. Everything fitly together in this place is going to be stronger. And that's the way our church is too. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when we're in our place and we're all seeking the Lord's will, and you know it's all good. Then our church is going to be stronger. And yeah. if anything comes in, it probably ain't going to tear us apart. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll probably handle it just fine as long as we're all in our place, um, seeking the Lord's will. Um, let's see where did they get to? It, it, talking about that fitly, the the uh, the meaning of, of that adverb is. Proper place or proper manner. So to me, that all goes back here to the architect, you know, the uh, the designer. It, it's got to be where he says to put it, and then it will fit. Then it will work. What does that make say? Hey, yeah, no. uh, so then, uh, see, moving on along, I got to thinking about, like you say, a, a, a designer. You know, if everything is placed, that's the way it was designed to be. So everything mm -hmm. about designer. Y'all probably seen this. If you, if you pull a building grid, it says who was the designer. So, you know, either the architect signs off on it, the engineer, or the contractor, somebody like whoever is responsible for that, they, they're the designer. So they're kind of responsible for it. So, so you, get to, you get to thinking about that, and it's got to be done in that way for it to work. Mm -hmm. You know, carefully frame together, everything's got to be that way for it. Uh, I, I'll give you an example. So, this is a true story. So we're working and we're setting a post and you got the nail gun. So the post is a little too tight, what do you do? <laughs> they do. They take the four hundred dollar nail gun and go wham, wham, wham. That's right. But it's not the, the way it was designed to be used. True story the very next day. The nail gun's not working. <laughs> oh <laughs> why is that? <laughs> Because it's not the way it was designed to be used. So that's kind of my, my thought here. You got the designer, the supreme being. So he's got stuff designed to be used a certain way. And, and this is all too popular, unfortunately. It's all too popular. You get thinking about these, uh, what they're calling alternative lifestyle. You know, they're not happy. Uh, it's the number one demographic for suicide, unfortunately. Yeah. That doesn't sound very gay at all to me. Yeah. That sounds quite miserable. Yeah. I and mean, why don't people help these people with that? Yeah. Look at the math. They're not happy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. stop encouraging it. Try, mm -hmm. try helping them. Right. You know, but, but people. Yeah. So you got that. Uh, I think the preacher talked about uh, something about this the, the other week, um, talking about the, the Transformers. You know, going to get the surgery, you know, and this and that and the other. And you got this one competing in the wrong sport and this and that and the other. Um, you know, and then I think the preacher mentioned how miserable and hateful they were here. Again, it's not. The reason they're that way is because it's not how God intended it. It's mm -hmm. not how he designed you to be. That's why you're miserable. Yeah. It's really simple. Yeah. You know, if you just, you know, read. Um, right. But, you know. And what's really stupid about that is they're asking four-year-olds, what do they think about that? Mm -hmm. When I was four-year-old, I wanted to be Superman. Yeah. <laughs> I realized I couldn't fly. But I couldn't swim even. Okay? Not much of a superhero, am I? You know? But I grew out of it, and, you know, here I drive meals for a living. So, you know, so they're supposed to decide something very serious like that when they can't vote. They're not even old enough to you know, navigate an automobile. Mm -hmm. I mean, really? Mm -hmm. With these life-altering decisions, you're in, it, it, it's not the way God designed it to be. Right. There was a 2011 study. Um, they said 80% of these people would grow out of that if just left alone. Mm -hmm. right. 80% of them would grow out of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, I, I've got it right, right here, but I won't bore you with the names yeah. and stuff. Uh, John Hopkins Hospital, everybody's familiar with them, they're kind of big time doctor and stuff, they actually quit doing the surgery mm -hmm. because come to find out six to eight months later they just come back wanting to be changed back. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, it's not, God didn't mess up. Right. They are what they are. Right. Uh, they're just trying to do something that, you know, the designer didn't intend, and that's why they're miserable. Right. You know, yeah. maybe you should go ask somebody right. happy what their secret is, <clears throat> you know, rather than just trying to be miserable. Um, other things, you know, I just kind of thought of it was not as the designer intended. Um, these teachers, and, and you hear it all the time, these lockdowns that they had was, you know, supposedly messed with the kids a whole lot. Um, you know, it's just not the way it is. Kids are not supposed to be put in solitary confinement. They need to be kids. They just need to be let out and be kids with other kids. Right. You know, they don't need to be locked up at home. Um, uh, you know, family works better when it's as God designed it. Yeah. You know, over here in Genesis, he's got, you know, where he used to pick in marriage and what a marriage is supposed to be, Adam and Eve. Um, it's just not supposed to be what they're trying to promote uh, today. Another thing that is not at the designer intended, Matthew 25 and 41, everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Mm -hmm. The designer never intended mankind to go to hell. Right. He right. never did. Right. It was designed, as we read right here, it was for the devil and his angels. Mm -hmm. The designer sent a savior mm -hmm. to prevent that from happening. Right. You know, that, that's what he wants for you. That's what the designer wants. That's right. Um, and, you know, you, talking about tools, the tools always work best when they're used as they're designed to be. Mm -hmm. and, you know, here again, don't use a nail gun for a sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. It won't work. Uh, you know, get in God's will mm -hmm. and you'll be happy. You know, you'll, you'll be where you need to be. It'll work for you. Um, so I went... <laughs> From there, and uh, I got to think about tools we use on the job some. Um, I got to think about a ruler. Um, a ruler is from the, the Latin word uh, regula. Um, it means to ex uh, exercise power, to straighten, to lead, or to guide. You know, you think about it, you know, rulers, they've got, you know, marks on them, and, you know, we're, okay, it's on reds, so when you pull your leg off, everybody goes reds, and everything's straight. Everything works, everything's guided out, you know, or you, you, you're on diamonds, whatever, it doesn't matter. But everything is lined up, everything is straight, and everything works, everybody's on the same page. You know, it keeps everything straight. That's kind of what the Bible does. Mm -hmm. You know, we've all got the same Bible here. Right. So we're all on the same page, we all know what we're here for. Right. You know, we all got the same idea here. Right. Um, I got to think about trim. Um, you know, trim originally. It was uh, utilitarian. It had a reason. Uh, when you got a transition on the finish, it's to hide, you know, you, you might have a crack. Uh, crown molding was implemented to hide stress cracks. And the building settled, the structure settled, you got a crack in your plaster around the top. So it's what crown molding was for. So I kind of think about that. Isn't that what Jesus does to us? Mm -hmm. when, the, when the world pressure stresses us and we crack and we fail him because that's what happens you know we're supposed to, to live you know to, to a certain way and, and i just fail so jesus covers it up mm -hmm. i mean it's plain and simple that's what he does god right. looks god looks and jesus says i covered that up amen so he fixed it uh, but the way trim was was made in early early times um you had a, a craftsman uh, ironically enough, that tr that translates out from uh, learned man or scholar. But you had a craftsman here, and he had a gouge or a chisel, whatever it was, and then you had the young guy on the other side pushing. So the young guy's doing all the work. He's pushing, he's pushing, and the craftsman's just standing here carving. He's got a tool and he's carving it. And I kind of thought about that, and I kind of thought that's the way we should be, us young ones here, or to look at you old timers that's been here, done that, and lived and good lives and, and good examples for us. We just need to keep pushing mm -hmm. and watch what y'all done for years and learn from it. And then it'll be our turn. Amen. That's basically the way Amen. the turn was made. The, the old guy <laughs> taught the young guys and when he aged out, they switched and there was another young guy took his place. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we need to do. We just need to, you know, look Amen. at these old timers, this place of trail for us and got, you know, a good fundamental church here that we love to come to. Mm -hmm. And just keep on keeping on. Right. That's what the Lord Amen. God's here for. But Amen. I, I like the thought of, of looking at the ones who's been here, done that. 
I, I don't want somebody, you know, way behind the ears coming in telling us how to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want somebody who's been here, done that, and lived it, and, and proved it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we, we had this thought before. You know, we use this Bible because it works. Amen. We, you know, we don't need no new Bible. The right. preacher's kind of been on this here lately. Amen. You know, it, it's true. It works. There's no need to change now. Right. Um, and I guess I went from that. Um, I kind of got to thinking about uh, blueprints. Um, every blueprint gets a blueprint. They've got lots of stuff in them. First thing you usually come to is your foundation page. Shows you your foundation, this dimensions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, this Bible's got the foundation in it. We've already established mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, next thing blueprints might have in it is these pictures. Yeah. And the pictures tell you what you're, what you're working towards, what you're building, what you're after. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in a way, the, the Bible, it's not got pictures that you look at, but it tells a picture. Right. It tells of a Savior that came, but it tells of where we can go. Mm -hmm. It's got pictures. You know, it's got yeah. types in it that tell us what, you know, right. what, we're, what we're working towards and what we're living for. And another thought, a real good set of blueprints has details in it. Mm -hmm. And this right here, for whatever is going on in your life, it has all the details. Mm -hmm. Everything we ever need to know is in there. Um, I come across this. I thought it was interesting. I'll just read it. But I come across this in my study. Um, talking about, like I say, things we use at work, so just the thing about blueprints. It says, simply put, a blueprint is a plan. When a blueprint is followed properly, the result is a new creation. God has a plan for us, and when we follow that plan, we become a new creation. Mm -hmm. The blueprint for salvation is found in the Bible. Amen. And the Bible itself is constructed according to a plan. Amen. It's by a design. It's yeah. Right. That's pretty much what I got. I think I'm gonna chop chop it off right there. Um, if anybody else got anything, I'll chop for a minute.